Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time, all the time. And so learning how to empower yourself, part of doing that is standing up to yourself. I was going to give a presentation and this voice inside of me saying, you can't do this, you don't have everything it takes, I shut up! <laughs> when you're working on something you want to achieve, you have got to stand up to that voice. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on the goal that you want to reach. You've got to sell yourself every day. Whatever we have right now, whatever we're demonstrating in our lives is a result of what we believe subconsciously that we deserve. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. We all have promises we're standing on. It's easy to believe at first, but what happens when nothing is improving? That's a test. Before the promise comes to pass, most of the time, you have to go from I believe to I still believe. Still believe means you're not moved by what's not changing. You're not discouraged by how long it's taking, the disappointment. You know God is still on the throne. What he promised is on the way. Don't get talked out of what you're believing for. The pandemic has slowed my business, but I still believe I'm going to have a blessed year. God is looking for I still believe people. You had every right to give up. The setback should have talked you out of it. You haven't seen any sign of things changing, but you keep believing. All the facts say it's impossible. Your attitude is, that's okay. God can do the impossible. The medical report says you're not going to get well. I'm not worried. God can do what medicine cannot do. I still believe. Maybe you tried to accomplish a dream, but no doors opened. The people you need weren't there for you. That's all a part of the process. God didn't give you the dream and not have a way to bring it to pass. Are you going to get talked out of it? Give up on a dream because it hasn't happened yet? God didn't change his mind. He doesn't abort dreams. He just needs some, I still believe faith. Don't get talked out of your dreams. The disappointment is not going to cause you to get discouraged. The negative chatter, the people who don't believe in you, is not going to dampen your faith. Who did you wrong? The environment you were raised in is not going to stop your destiny. Pass the test. Your time is coming. It's not too late. What God put in your heart is still on the way. There was a young boy. He grew up in a small village in East Africa. As a little boy, his dream was to go to college. The people there were very poor. They were suffering from a huge famine. His father was killed when he was seven. His mother died when he was 12. He would get up at five in the morning and study for an hour. Then it was an hour and a half walk to get water for the day. All the odds were against him. How could he get a college education? Living in the slums, no money, no one to look after him. Despite his environment, every night he would pray, God, I want to go to college. Even though I don't see how it can work out, I still believe you can make it happen. At 12 years old, one night he had a dream. He saw a house with a man in it named Mr. Stanley. In this dream, Mr. Stanley helped him with his tuition. The next day he went there, guards were all around it. He told the officers he wanted to see Mr. Stanley. Intrigued, Mr. Stanley allowed him in. The young man explained his situation. Mr. Stanley was so impressed, he said, I'll not only pay your tuition, but I'll buy all your books and all your supplies. When he finished high school, he received a full scholarship to come to college in the United States. When you have, I still believe faith, miracles are set in motion. 
favor, healing, divine connections. God will make things happen that seem unlikely. Are you letting your circumstances talk you out of what God put in your heart? Now you've quit believing. God still wants to bring it to pass, but you have to get in agreement with Him and say, God, I still believe it can happen. I still believe I can live healthy and whole. I still believe I can start my business. Joel, I tried and it didn't work out. That's part of the process. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Those are tests that you have to pass. You have to have a made up mind that you're going to believe until you see that promise come to pass. Now maybe what you're believing for is taking longer than you thought. Thoughts are whispering, you're wasting your time. Instead of going from I believe to I gave up, go from I believe to I still believe. The odds are against me, but I still believe I can accomplish my dreams. I was raised in dysfunction, but I still believe I can live an abundant, victorious life. I still believe I can set a new standard. A friend of mine wanted to start a business came up with a very impressive business plan. He needed funding. He went to his bank. They studied his plan and turned him down. He was disappointed, but he went to another bank. Same thing, he was turned down. He could have been discouraged, given up, but every time he left a bank, his attitude was, they may have said no, but I know God says yes, I still believe. Bank number 32 said, this looks like a great idea. They gave him the loan. Today he's blessed beyond his wildest dreams. There will be people that try to talk you out of your promise. Don't expect everyone to be for you. Sometimes it's our own thoughts that tell us it's not going to happen. Tune that out. Keep your mind filled with faith, filled with hope. There's a battle taking place in our mind. Thoughts whispering, you'll never beat the right person. You can't pass that college course. If you dwell on those thoughts, you'll get talked out of what you're believing for. If you start dwelling on it, these problems are so big, I don't see how it can work out. Before long, you'll be negative, giving up on dreams. Don't take the bait. Those are lies to try to defraud you out of your purpose, to try to keep you from seeing the awesome things that God has in store. While you're waiting on the promise, the enemy will work overtime. Do yourself a favor, ignore it. When the lies come, just say, no thanks, I still believe. See, the devil has one mission, is to rob you of your destiny. If he can get you to give up, you have been robbed of your destiny. When you have thoughts that are negative, that's not God, that's Satan. You got to understand that this hard time that you're going through prepares you for the life God has for you. Everything you ever thought you would not make it through, you got past it. Now, if you're currently going through something right now, you're going to get past that too. Keep your mind filled with faith. God is still on the throne. He's planned out your days for good. You can say like David, though I am surrounded by trouble, my heart will know no fear. For surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. Yes, we're going to have disappointments, things we don't understand, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. You're not moved by what's not happening. By the setbacks, you have a made up mind. You believe that God is in control and that what he promised will come to pass. All the forces of darkness cannot keep you from your destiny. Don't be intimidated by the opposition. That's a sign that you're close to your victory. You don't deny the facts, but you're not moved by the facts. In the face of the giants, you declare, I still believe. 